all for coming to this emergency meeting. Giselina's love. As you all know, we have been working hard at controlling the epidemic of toxic masculinity. It's only been two days since putting away the pig snout and the bikini. Sorry, I forgot. Giselina's love. I really hope this is not a new personal education scheme. Sorry to break the bad news, but I don't think we have gone far enough. The war against women continues with hospitals refusing to treat women, and men being found breaking the curfew, presumably to go out in packs to hunt down and kill women. And some men have been caught carrying money, almost certainly to buy weapons to kill women. Are you sure that's true? They might just have been hungry. You know some men have actually died of hunger and cold. Oh boo fucking who? That's just God's revenge for 200 million years of rape and torture. So what's the new ruling? How about speaking to me with a little respect? You males will refer to me as ma'am. And for that matter, all females, including female pupils, they are all ma'am as well. And you will obey them if they give you a command. We'll talk about that later, but I plan on giving all females authority over all males, independent of age, or perceived status under the patriarchal ranking system. Regardless of that, females are not inflexible concrete animals, unlike stupid, retarded and off-brain men, who have no moral code at all. So here is the new rule. Gee, I hate going to this school. Why are they making us wear these stupid bubble head things? And why the flesh colored bikinis, and no shoes or mobile phone, I mean. I feel naked. And ridiculed. So do I, I really am getting the feeling that Miss Peterson favors the girls over us. Yes, I've had the same thought. And why make us walk around the streets during math and computer science classes? I know, particularly as we still have to do the exams at the end of the year. It is our job to do something that will stack the odds of STEM subjects in the girl's favor. For the next three months, or until two days before final exams, no males will be allowed to attend the following classrooms, math, physics, computer science and chemistry. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Listen here. Mr. Rape Apologist. One more word from you, and I'll make you come to work naked wearing only a set of Playboy bunny ears, clip-on nipple rings, and a henna tattoo on your forehead saying, Raping cunt. The rape machines to be. By that, I mean, the boys will walk the streets outside the school, during what would normally be their math, physics, computer science or chemistry classes, to make sure that they cannot overhear any of the material being taught. I'm so stressed all the time, I can't concentrate on homework anymore. Same here. I'm falling behind in math and chemistry. I'm probably going to fail both. I used to be one of the best pupils in those subjects. I know. You were a star. None of the girls let me look at the class notes. They are nervous to be seen helping us boys out. I don't know what the homework assignments are, so I can't hand anything in and have been scoring zeros left, right, and center. It's all zero marks for me as well. I may have already failed. Gee, I hate these bubble head things. I was hoping to study engineering next year, but I doubt I will be accepted into any college. Giselina's greeting to you, Tarquin. Giselina's love to you, Pathfinder Lloyd. Just Pathfinder is fine Tarquin. Anyway, I needed to check out a potential disturbance at The Lady of Emancipation Park. Sure great Pathfinder. What is happening there? Well, I have had reports of a male streaker, naked, wearing a bubble head this guy's rushing through the park every Tuesday and Friday evenings at 9.20pm. No doubt to be sexist and demeaning to females. It will be my pleasure great path seeker. I'll gather a garland immediately. Not Path Seeker. Pathfinder. I'm not seeking anything. But I find everything, 
as per the protocols of Jizalina. May she shower you 1,000 times with her love. A thousand times Jizalina's love. Anyway, this time Tarquin. I will come with you and observe. No Garland this time. You'll apprehend the criminal alone, or with my help if need be. Jizalina. Jizalina. I can't see the blackboard with this stupid bubble thing. And I feel humiliated. Why don't they turn on the heating? It was snowing this morning. Why is Miss Peterson making us stay behind after school to do? Feeling workshops. What were the other two choices again? Techniques and matriarchal chanting, or... Don't tell me. I remember. Emotional expression through African women's tribal dance. At least this is the least worse of the three choices. What about the W94 laws? She must know that we are breaking the curfew? We had better sit down before Miss Frankel arrives and we are accused of planning violence against females. Yes. Let's. Have you been arrested for breaking the curfew yet? Of course not. I wouldn't be here if I had. Every Tuesday and Friday night I just hide behind the parked cars. I wait for the lorry patrol and the police patrol to pass. That is my cue to go onto the road and hitch, for at least 7 minutes, then I have to hide again until the next opportunity. Finally, I cross Lady of Emancipation Park, crouch behind the bushes for the street lights to flicker, then I dash across the road to my backyard. It's very stressful. Hello, hello, hello. Sir Bikini Pumpkinhead. So you thought you could get away with terrifying and beating females. I think your spree of sexual violence is over. I'm just a schoolboy. I don't care who you are. Nor does Giselina. Okay, mister. Sorry. Sir? Bikini Pumpkinhead. I think I need to introduce you to our other local and voluntary residents, the young snowman beach bunny who was trying to kill females on the beach, and the phony cross-dressing priest, who was actively celebrating the kidnapping, rape and torture of the wonderful Jill Livingstone. Sir Bikini Pumpkinhead, I think you will all get along just fine. Yes. Just fine. Sorry. Sorry.